You know what? I was so privileged to be able to feature um, the salon. It is Monday and most salons are closed today, but a salon in Islip opens its doors to welcome men and women going through cancer each and every Monday. It is Monday at Racine's. It feels really good. Racine Salon and Spa has been making men and women going through chemo and radiation feel good for the last 15 years. Cancer changed, um, changed my image, changed the way I thought about myself, my self-confidence. It, it, it broke me. I'm here to uh, come and feel beautiful and uh, it took me a lot to get out of bed this morning. The salon, run by sisters Rachel DiMolfetto and Cynthia Sansone, provides free services through cancer treatments every Monday, all year round. So on any given Monday, these chairs are filled with women who come here because they need your help. Yes, they need our hair help. Oftentimes, it's the first question that a woman will ask her oncologist when she is diagnosed, am I going to lose my hair? So it's a really, really big concern. In a joint project with Newsday, we watched the workings of a typical Monday as Racine's helped women with wigs, lashes, and makeup. This little salon is making a difference in how women and men with cancer feel and how they look. Today, I almost canceled because I'm so tired. I'm having my last chemo at the end of uh, the week. And yeah. since I've been here, I feel revitalized and feel like I want to run out shopping or something <laughs> and show everybody how nice I look today. I look great, don't I? We know that the mirror is a powerful tool, and that's part of what we do. The other part is wellness. It's about being accepted, loved, and being part of a beautiful group of women that have gone through it. And I come here for support, most of all. When you have breast cancer, any kind of cancer, you have to feel good about yourself. And the only way you really feel good about yourself is look in the mirror and try to do something. And this lady helped me do that. She is the best. And to do this for people. And that, I mean, that was genuine. That, that, was, that was a real moment there. Racines was the subject of the Oscar-nominated documentary, if they sound familiar to you, that was called Mondays at Racines a few years back. They're also trying to get other salons across Long Island on board. They want to train them. They want them to do the same type of thing on Mondays. And here's how you can help. You can attend the first Long Island Beauty Ball and learn more about it there. It's going to be a beautiful gala at the Crest Hollow Country Club on Monday, October 26th. So support them, support the women that you know and the men that you know that are battling this. And if you want to know more, you can go to our website, newsfall.com, and be sure to pick up today's news day because there's more in there too. And I love that you said the woman at the end getting with, with that short wig on was the woman in the beginning with no hair. Right. It was such a beautiful, uplifting, positive, mm -hmm. wonderful day. And I, I really hope that all of the salons on Long Island kind of jump on board this movement and at least all the individuals contribute in some way and go to the Long Island Beauty Ball. It is a win-win. You'll have right. a beautiful night out. Right. They have all these awesome experiences there and you can give back. Come on, Long Island yeah. salons. Let's get do there. this. Yeah. Learn how to do it. That way, mm. everybody can have it in their neighborhood. We have more Takes survivors. That's it. We have more survivors. And that's the good news. But Thank they need God. help. Yep. All right.